Turning Point 2008 is an audience response software that works with PowerPoint 2007 and 2010 to turn presentations into interactive comprehension checks, quizzes, and games. The following information will help you to get started using PowerPoint and create your first interactive presentation. Start by launching the program. You will notice when it opens, PowerPoint um, has added a new tab called Turning Point 2008, which contains all the commands that you'll be using to add your interactive slides. Now because it's an add-on into a PowerPoint, you can open an already existing PowerPoint and use that to start, or you can create a brand new one. In this case, we have a slide that we've already um, created in PowerPoint. And notice we have to have the question up here in the heading. And we have the answers um, that are optional choices down below. To make this interactive, we're going to go to Insert Object, Chart, and choose the type of chart that we would like to add. And you can see that it will add that in. Okay. Now, additionally, we can go in to Insert Object. We can add a countdown timer. And we can also add a response counter so we know how many people have responded when we are actually presenting. So there we go. Those are our main components of creating a, a slide. Um, now, we can also create a very new interactive slide totally from scratch by going to Insert Slide. And here we have another long list of optional types of slides. And if you're just doing multiple choice questions to check comprehension, um, during lectures, which is where most uh, people start when they first uh, start using Turning Point. You can just click Vertical Slide, and it'll give us a brand new slide. And just like you're changing the text in PowerPoint, you're going to click inside the text box, and you're going to type in your question. And you can resize your text just like you always would. You can enter your, an your um, answer text down in the body by creating your insertion point. And then when you click out of the text box, it will automatically update your chart to reflect how many options that you have. Once again, you can add things such as a countdown timer. Um, you'll notice that here, because it's a new slide, I automatically have a, a, mess, a uh, response counter, and that's because I changed my settings to automatically put those into the new slides that I create. Something else that I can do is that knowing what the correct answer is, I can come over here to the right, and I can set that value as being correct, and all the rest will turn to incorrect. And then I can also go up to Insert Object and Insert a correct response indicator. So after students respond, then it will show them the correct response. I don't have to memorize all of those. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to know to get started.